Hey guys, Chris from Tillman Family Farms here. Thanks for coming back to check out some more videos. Um, this week we're going to be working on a couple of things for uh, the new chicken tractors. We're going to be working on some feeders and waters, and we're also going to be working on a barrel with some pig nipples in it for the pigs. So uh, I got a table full of stuff back here behind us. Uh, our intent for this video is to kind of show you how you can do some of this stuff without going into spending a, a ton of money on, on this kind of stuff from the local feed store or even if you find something online. Um, our, our water uh, apparatus that we will have for the, uh, <laughs> the neighbors having fun. Um, anyhow, the, the waters that we'll have for the chicken tractors, um, we might have 15 or $20 in them a piece um, and it'll be about probably five to five and a half gallons worth of water there. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna show you what's on the table behind me and kind of go over some of these pieces and parts that you'll need, and then we'll get to work. So guys, I guess the first thing that I'll start with is gonna be this brass valve right here. So one of the things that my wife and I talked about was once we get these chicken tractors out in the pasture, how are we gonna get water to these things way out there? We're not gonna be crazy and stretch a hose out. So. Uh, a friend of ours has uh, a connection with a car wash and they get these barrels that have soap in them so they're easy to clean out it's not like it's a crazy chemical or anything like that but we're going to take that valve and i'm going to put a hole in the bottom of this barrel right here and screw it in there that way we can fill this barrel with water and we can take it out to the tractors on the back of our mule and fill all of our waters up and it will be much easier than trying to drag a hose everywhere. The next thing that we're going to do is going to ha have a lot to do is along the same lines, but these, I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you've dealt with pigs before, have seen these. These are pig nipples. You can get them on, um, golly, you, find, you find these things everywhere on eBay. But um, basically, I'm going to take another barrel, just like this one, and I'm going to put pig nipples in it, and then that's what this pallet is here for. So instead of uh, you know trying to, to roll this barrel around everywhere, I'm going to put those pieces of wood down there that was all kind of reclaimed stuff to kind of hold that barrel in place. Um, and I'm going to get it as close to the edge as I can, put the pig nipples in it. But that way, when we move the pigs, I can put the forks on my tractor and I can just scoop up this pallet and move it around wherever we need it to go. So guys, this is a poultry drinker cup. Um, we, we found my wife found a bag of 20 of these on eBay and ordered them. They came in a couple days. So, what I intend to do is I'm going to use that bucket and some of these fittings here, these PVC fittings, and then some of this PVC pipe. And I am going to drill some holes in it, kind of tap them a little bit. And then the back of these have threads on them and we're going to screw them into those PVC pipes. We're going to make ourselves a drinker that we can put on the inside of the tractors. Last but not least in this uh, little series of projects that we're going to be doing uh, this afternoon is going to be this piece of 4 inch PVC pipe right here. So what my intention with this is, is to mark it straight down the middle i've already glued some caps onto the end of it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark it down the middle long ways as such and then i'm going to split it in half just like that and what that's going to do is that's going to create me a feed trough um, that i can hang in the chicken coops uh, or, or in the chicken tractors rather and it will hang from some chain that I've had for a long time that I finally got a use for and uh, that way you know it'll hang one chain in the middle so if they try to jump on it it'll kind of flip flop everywhere uh, but hopefully they won't do that a lot I've seen a lot of people use this type of feeder in their chicken tractors and it seems to work pretty good I, I've never seen anybody complain about it on any of the, the uh, Facebook pages or forums that I, I read on so we're gonna try it out in these, and uh, that one piece right there will give me two feeders for the two chicken tractors that we have made currently. All right, guys, so I thought that I would start with the easiest of these projects. We've got this uh, brass valve. You screw a water hose onto it here, um, and, and you just turn it off and on. I'm using a three-quarter inch. Um, and what I've done, I don't, know, I don't know exactly what these threads are, but what I've done is I've gone to my paddle bits, 
and I just kind of eyeballed it and this one turned out to be a 15 16 so I want to be able to get as much water out of this thing as I can so I'm gonna fashion this as low as I can on it but I also don't want to be too low that I can't get the hose into it so I'll probably bring it up just a little bit that'll give us some extra water in there that we're not gonna be able to use but I think it's all right um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole and I'm gonna uh, put some Teflon tape on this and I'm gonna thread this in there um, I'm not 100% sure if this is the best way to do this uh, I've seen a lot of people that, that cut the top out of their barrels and screw something onto the back side of this which would be very very beneficial but I'm gonna try it this way just to see because everybody else is just threading these pig nipples in, into into barrels like this so we're gonna drill this hole real quick put some Teflon tape on it try it out I don't know guys that plastic's pretty old thick what I'm probably gonna do before I put the Teflon tape on it is I'm gonna try to thread this in here and let these uh, let these brass threads cut some threads into this plastic and I'm gonna go from there oh yeah that's threading right in there pretty real good This is going to be a lot more rigid than I thought. Which is, makes me feel a little bit better about one of the next projects with the pig nipples. It's going to be alright like that. Okay, so what I did, I just I screwed it in there to cut some threads. Now I'm going to back it right back out. And I'm going to put some Teflon tape on it to try to seal it up as it screws itself back in there. And this little project will be done. So it didn't cut deep threads, but I think with this Teflon tape on it, I think it's going to help it out a whole lot. I'm going to put it right back in where it was. And man, it caught the threads perfect. And it's screwing itself right on back in there. Actually pushing some of that tape back out a little bit. But I think it's gonna be alright. So it's got this nut uh, around it and it's got a, a kind of a shoulder there to it. So I'm gonna screw it all the way into that, okay? And I'm gonna screw it around one more time because it, it may end up stripping those plastic threads, but I'm gonna tell you what. So these things have a uh, We've got this on the top here so there's two different places where I could actually put water in here I could actually seal this up too uh, it's a darker color barrel which is great because darker color barrels um, they'll help to, to keep the algae and stuff from growing in it but um, that's it that's one project down let's jump on another one all right guys so what I've got here I've got a couple of PVC pieces this is a cap this is all three quarter inch pipe so this is a cap that will go on the end of this. It's going to be glued on. And then this is a female adapter. So basically it's smooth on one side and then it's got threads on the inside, okay? This will glue on the other end of the pipe. This is actually a sprinkler uh, fitting. And what I'm going to do with it is put some Teflon tape on it and I'm going to screw it into here. And then it will be on the other end of the pipe, okay? So that's the pipe itself. What I've done is I've taken this pipe and I drew myself a straight line all the way down it. This pipe is two, and, uh, two feet, five inches long. So I made marks every five inches. So I'm gonna have five of these drinkers in this pipe, okay? Cap goes on the end, seal it up. This goes on the other end with this threaded in and it will have a hose running to it from a bucket, okay? so. We're going to start drilling ourselves some holes and get the rest of our drinkers out here and start putting it all together, okay? All right, guys, so with the PVC, now, I'm not a plumber, but I've been known to do a lot of things that I'm not uh, qualified to do. Anyhow, so you got two steps to PVC stuff, okay? So you got primer, and then you got the actual glue. So I've already put this cap on. So basically, just like here, you will take the primer inside and on the outside okay and once you do that 
you can get your glue and I'll go around the outside here and then I'll go around the inside here and what you want to do so this this uh, PVC cement it kind of gives a little chemical reaction and you'll stick that in there turn it back and forth until it kind of starts getting tight and then that way you know that it's kind of it's bonded to the PVC and then you're going to sit around and let that dry up a little bit okay all right guys so now we have our fitting for the end here I took some more of the Teflon tape that we put on the uh, the valve that we put in the barrel so that's going to seal it up and I've got a an adjustable wrench and a set of vice grip pliers here so I'm just going to start to screw it in if I can start to there we go get it in as far as I can with my hand I want to get this in here good and tight because I don't want all this stuff to be leaking so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the pipe with that got my wrench adjusted right I'm just going to keep turning it until I get it in as far as I want it Hopefully I'm staying in the screen there. All right, so that's good and tight. So our next step is we're gonna go through here and we're gonna drill some holes at our marks. And we're gonna start threading to put our cups in. All right guys, so I've got all my holes drilled where I want them. I went ahead and put some Teflon tape on my drinkers. I've already kind of threaded them in there and fitted them a little bit. Uh, then I put the tape on them to kind of seal the hole up. I am contemplating putting a little touch of glue on each one of these just for, for the sake of it. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. I may find out that it's a bad idea, but uh, that's all right. Um, Anyhow, I'm going to get all these screwed in and kind of show you how it's going to be once it's finished there. And we will move on to the next step with the bucket. Alright guys, so I told you I was going to put a little bit of glue on each one of these. So what I'm doing though is I'm just getting it started right there. And uh, trying to get me a little string of glue. Just get just a little bit done in there. And then I start threading them on in. And then that glue is just going to work its way around. Work its way around. And then when I kind of get it pretty close in there, it's probably one more turn. Yeah. One more turn right there. I just kind of kind of look at them there. Take that glue and smear it around. And I got one more. All right, guys, there you have the drinker itself. So once again, this is three quarter inch PVC, okay? So we cap the pipe at the very end. We drew a straight line marked out every five inches. We put a female adapter on the end of it, and then we screwed our sprinkler fitting into it. So now what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna take a bucket we're going to put another one of these in the bucket and then there's going to be a hose from here to the bucket the bucket will have a lid on it let's look at the bucket now all right guys we're going to take our bucket that we bought at lowe's and it's not a shameless plug i have stock in lowe's so i buy everything that i can from lowe's not everything but a lot uh, we're going to take our bucket and we're going to take uh, this fitting we're going to put it in the bucket like this. We're going to load this thing up with tape. We're going to do this the same way that we put the valve in the bottom of the 55 gallon drum uh, for the water transport that we did a little earlier. But uh, I'm going to get the drill set up and get this thing stuck in there. And then I'm going to find our piece of hose and show you how this thing is going to finish up. Okay. All right, guys, I got my hole drilled. Uh, this was the same size bit as it was for the, uh, the brass fitting. The, these threads are the same. So that was a 15 sixteenths. I got my Teflon tape on it already. I'm going to go ahead and start trying to get it started in here. It's a pretty good and snug fit. Oh, yeah, screwing right in there. Let me get my... 
Here we go. Maybe it won't leak. All right, guys, it's the next day. Um, in, in the process of this last night, or yesterday afternoon, I kind of realized that I had messed up on my fittings a little bit. Standing there in the, in the aisle, it all looked great. This is what I originally bought. And the idea was to take this hose, this was a, a extra piece of hose on a hose that was bad, and to slide it on there. But as you can see, there's gonna be no sliding that on there. So this morning I got up, and we went back to Lowe's, and we found this piece that's threaded the same, so all my holes are still gonna work. And this piece is gonna slide right on, and we're gonna use this hose clamp, just like I, I had originally planned. So uh, moving right along, easy fix, but if anybody does projects like this they know they're going to run into things like that so i've already swapped out the bucket i'm going to swap out the uh, actual pvc pipe real quick and then i'm going to finish putting it together and show you what we got all right guys so here we go so uh, i got the hose slid on and i got a hose clamp right here um this is a 5 16 uh nut driver here to put that on uh or you can use the flathead it's kind of hard some of the stuff a lot of the stuff we have laying around my dad and i have uh, a horde of uh, things from old projects and things like that but I'm not gonna put it all together because when I put it on my chicken tractor uh, I have to take it all back apart to run it through the the wire and all that stuff but so this will mount down low enough something like this inside the chicken tractor and then you will route the hose through we'll have a, a mount made for the bucket on the outside this is gonna slide right on there and then you'll take your lid off and you'll fill the whole thing up um, Hopefully this is going to work. Uh, I have a few reservations over it. The, the more I've uh, put it together, that are they going to try to roost on it? Are they going to, you know, uh, end up pooping in it or whatever you want to call it? Um, but we'll see with time. We we may learn that this is not what we want to do, and we may change them all out. But um, for now, this is what we're going to do, and I think it's pretty cool and it was pretty cheap. So uh, at the end of this, I may try to uh put all the pieces and parts together as far as how much i spent on it so that you can see the cost difference between spending a little bit of time and then just buying something outright okay uh but now we're going to move on to our uh water barrel for the pigs and we're going to put some pig nipples in and um try to get that one complete all right guys so we got another barrel same thing here uh we got this from a friend of ours that knows some people at a car wash and these are the soap barrels so they're easy to wash out so we're going to make this one into our uh, pig drinker so i got a bunch of these pig nipples and um so everything that i've seen is that you want to put your nipples above this line on these barrels uh the reason for that is the, the weight of the water in the bottom of it is going to help keep it in place A lot of the other ones that I've seen, people only put one or maybe two on the other side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one here, one here, and one here because the way I have it set up on my pallet uh, to make all this stuff portable and movable, I've got it pulled to the front of the pallet and um, that way I'll be able to kind of move it around a little bit easier. But uh, we're going to drill some holes, get these things taped up with Teflon tape and get them in the holes. set up with the three pig nipples in it above the line water for weight so now let me show you how I'm going to set the pallet up so that this thing can be portable every time we move the pigs all right so this is just a, a regular old pallet that I picked up from work um, we have pallets all the time but um so I just used some scrap whatever I had basically what I wanted to do was to make it to where the barrel wouldn't slide off of it so the idea is to be able to use the tractor with my forks on it to scoop this up every time that we get ready to move the pigs and just take it wherever they're going that way we won't have to pipe the barrel and all that stuff so this is one pretty simple um i got the drinking side as close to the edge of the pallet as i could so 
Oh, they can come to here or here or here. Yeah, right up or whatever. But working out pretty good so far. We'll see how they like it. All right, guys. So here's the next project. Uh, this is going to be uh, when we're done with it. It will be two feeders, um, both for chicken tractors. They will hang. So what I've done. This is a piece of four-inch PVC pipe. Uh, I want to say I cut it at two and a half feet. Uh, I went ahead and glued the caps on the end, and I have done the best that I could to measure to cut this thing dead in the center. It may not be dead in the center, but I put the caps on here so that the uh, feed wouldn't come out the ends. I've seen a lot of these that didn't have them. They were just a piece of pipe cut in half. Um, anyway, I've got it marked on both sides. This may not be the way to do this. It may have been better to use a chalk line or something like that to pop a straight line, but I did the best I could with the old frame square there. Um, and I, I really don't know if how I'm fixing to cut this is going to be the best way, the right way, or whatever, but I am going to use a, a angle grinder with a cutoff wheel so that I can kind of control it a little bit. And then when I'm done, if the edges are kind of scuffed up, I can take the... Uh, a sander or something like that and kind of smooth the edges down but this is the next project i got it marked out fixing to cut it and i'll show you guys what it looks like all right guys so there you go um it wasn't quite as bad as what i thought it was going to be um you know you got to kind of have a little bit of a steady hand and, and some of this for some reason up around these caps uh maybe it had something to do with the glue or something but uh, it, it got really, really thick and was almost melting. Uh, but PVC is really, really easy to clean up the edges. So I'm fixing to take this old beat up five and one tool and a file and clean up the edges to everything. And then um, I'll show you how I'm going to put some holes in the ends of it to actually hang them. And these will be complete all except for hanging them in the, uh, in the chicken tractors. All right guys, so I've got my edges all cleaned up along here. Uh, when you cut it, it just kind of leaves a little sharp point on it. So what I did was I took a flat file and I just turned it and I go down the side like this and knock it off because these will be the edges that their necks lay on when they're in here eating. So I wanted to clean that up pretty good. Um, I've done that on both of them. So the next thing that I did was I took, and I took a drill bit and right here on the ends, gave myself about a, a inch and a half three quarters of an inch down from the top I drilled myself a hole pretty much in the center on both ends okay you want this meat right here so that when you put something through here to hang it that you're not so close up here and it's putting a lot of stress on it, it may eventually crack or break or something like that but so I put the hole in there and, and I'll take some kind of ring or something put it like this but what it does is it allows it to move like this and it's gonna swing but so if they get on it, it's going to do that, going to do that. And it's going to deter them from trying to, to perch and roost on it. Now, don't put it past chicken. Some of them are acrobats and some of them can make it happen. But I think that um, there's too many people out there using these kind of in the same way that um, I, I just, I mean, I think it's going to work pretty well. So, um, but that's about the extent of how to get these to this point. Uh, one or two little pointers I used well you can see it but these are the printed uh like barcode and words and things like that down the side of the pipe i use this as uh, to help me with my straight edge okay and when i stood it up i kind of eyeballed it down the line down the side and then i just met them in the middle so that's how i got my lines cut out on them and uh, that's how i got them cut in half and they turn out pretty good so i'm excited um we're gonna move on to to getting the rest of this stuff actually installed in everything and i will show you guys how it turns out okay so this is one of our chicken tractors that we have uh some of our future layers in so we got a feeder hung in here and we're gonna let these guys try it out And they don't have a problem using it at all. <laughs> but uh, we do have it adjustable so that um, we set it actually pretty low right this minute because we were thinking of the 
chicks that will be moving into these things next week we're gonna wait one more week because they're not uh, fully feathered yet but um, we had it low for them and uh, we're just kind of trying to see how these guys use it up looks like it's gonna work out pretty good all right guys so we have our bucket installed and our drinkers installed on the inside so i'm going to show you what we did and i'm going to show you a few problems that it has uh, right off the bat which i kind of thought maybe we might have these problems and i've got an idea how to fix it but so what we did was we came in here and we attached this board to the back and we attached another board with a support board and then this bucket is bungee strapped in so let me show you the issue where the fitting is screwed into the thin bucket the water is just leaking out around it and, and i was worried about that because these buckets are a lot thinner than the barrels um so yeah you can see it running out pretty good right there so what my plan is is to um drain all the water back out get it dried up pretty good and then i'm going to take some clear silicone and i'm going to run it around the inside of that fitting just to seal it up to that so let me take you inside the coop and show you how i did that in there so like i said we're, we're in the same coop that we hung the feeder in a little while ago um so the drinker which these guys are showing me a few things already that i was kind of worried about using a water system like this but so basically i just ran the hose out the side like that and um, I have a three quarter inch two hole strap. And when I say two hole, that means it goes all the way over the pipe. I'll show it to you. Let me get this chicken to move. It goes all the way over the pipe right there in the middle. And it has two holes to screw into it. Um, I thought I had more of these and I was going to use them, you know, three of them all the way along there, but I didn't. So I used a couple of zip ties for the time being. I probably will get some more straps. Um, but this is how it is right this minute and it looks like i got a drinker that's leaking too so there's going to be a couple of things here um, that are going to have to be some fixes but we're going to give it a try and see how it, how it works um who knows i may throw all of it in the trash uh but we're going to try it for right now and that is the almost finished product with uh a few fixes all right guys so we have it in here we're getting it filled up um my wife said it'd be a great idea to fill it up so they would associate water hose with water so we'll find out here in a little while so guys that about wraps it up for today um i hope you guys learned something i learned some things um you know a lot of these projects that i'm doing are things that i've seen in other places and then i have a little idea to, to the way i think i want to do it or whatever so um of course I, I i make mistakes just like everybody else does had a couple of leaks and we we'll get those leaks taken care of um I'm trying to get this video wrapped up because it's kind of starting to drizzle and rain here a little bit but um you know we're just trying to document uh the things that we're doing along the way and, and how we're growing our farm and things like that but like i say you know learn something with me along the way and uh, you know maybe we can uh, help you guys grow too so thanks for watching um like and subscribe Share the video if you want to, and, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be making a bunch more videos on, on some new things that we'll be doing along the way.